Día de los Muertos 2020, or Day of the Dead, as it is called here, is celebrated in many parts of the country. I still celebrate this holiday, as do my parents. This is my altar with all of my deceased loved ones. I'm doing base painting again this year. I've been doing it for a couple of years. And uh, I enjoy doing this because it is following part of the traditions and I don't want to lose any traditions as a first generation here. I enjoy doing this because it is part of the art, but it is also part of the culture and there is symbolism in the face painting as well as the other traditions of the de los Muertos. My parents are actually um, living nearby now and they do celebrate as well, but since the pandemic, they are trying to shelter in place. So I'm going to get my face painted, put my flower crown on, and then go visit them and take them some Day of the Dead bread or pan de muertos. I made my flower crown a few years ago and I have just kept it. I don't have the one with the fresh flowers because sometimes the flowers are hard to find but I do have fresh marigold or simpasuchil on my altar. This reboso or shawl I've had since I was seven years old when I used to do dancing. I did folklore dancing when I was little. I enjoy doing the face painting and I think it will be a nice surprise for my parents who don't know. I will be visiting them with some bread and some bundles as well. This is my altar. Here are the marigolds and also the pan de muertos that I purchased this year because I didn't have time. I did also buy some calaveritas, they're sugar schools, and I have placed throughout the altar many photos of my deceased loved ones, some of the ones that we have lost this year. I have also added some alcohol for them to drink and celebrate when they return. There's fresh food and everything there for them to enjoy as they come visit us for a few days. <laughs> 